Hi, this is Annie from MoraWare. Welcome to Materials, Areas, and Layout. Log into your CounterGo database, start a new quote, or open an existing one. Click on Step 5. You'll be able to add in all your materials, colors, edges, and pricing into your price list later. But for now, make a selection from the drop down menu. Choose a material, a color, and an edge. By default, all your counter pieces will be put into one area. If you're quoting more than one area or using multiple materials in one quote, you can divide the quote up to show that. Click on plus counter area to add an additional area in the quote. Across from area number two is a small piece of paper with a pencil icon, the edit icon. Click on it to rename this area something more meaningful, like island. Look at the small thumbnail drawing for this new area island. Notice all the pieces are gray. Click on a piece and select to make this counter a member of island to add it to the area. Every time you create a new counter area, you have to tell CounterGo which pieces belong in that area. With countertops in different areas, you can select different materials, colors, and edges. Let's make a few changes so that the island is different than the perimeter counters. We will use a one-time other color for this area. This feature lets you add a color to the quote only. It will not add it to your price list. In the color dropdown, scroll to the bottom to find other color. Enter the color name and the price per square foot. Even if you're going to be pricing by the slab, you must enter a price per square foot. CounterGo will calculate the cost of the entire slab based on the number you enter. For this counter, I'm going to price it by the square foot. So I'll uncheck price by the slab. I'll leave allow discount checked in case I want to apply a discount in step six. We are ready to lay out our pieces on slabs and add slab images. Click on perimeter slab and layout in the green bar, then check the show layout box. CounterGo will estimate how many slabs you need. Notice the pieces are stacked on top of one another. When all the pieces turn green, your layout is good to go. Yellow, orange, and red warn you when pieces are overlapping, off the slab, or both. Move counter pieces by clicking and holding your mouse on any piece. Click once on any piece to rotate pieces or define seams. Click on a large piece and select Define Seams. Move your mouse over the counter piece and click to place a seam. If you don't like the placement, click on the delete icon to the right of that seam to remove it. Position all your pieces so that they are green. If you need to add an additional slab, click plus slab in the lower left corner. Time to add a slab image. Click on the slab dimensions to the right of the layout. This is where you can adjust the size of your slab, delete a slab, or click on select image to add an image to the slab. You will need to have slab images saved on your computer or in the cloud before you get to this step. Since your database is empty, click on plus image file, then choose file to upload. This will let you step through locations on your computer or cloud to find your image. Select the file, then click Save. The green rectangle you see is the proportional representation of your slab. If you click and hold on an edge or corner, you can resize the box to eliminate any unwanted areas in the image file. You can also click and hold to reposition the green box on the image. Click Save when you're ready to place the image. The image is placed on the slab, and when you move your pieces, it will update in real time. For the island slab, I'll use an image I've uploaded before. Using the same steps, I'll click on the slab dimensions, then select image, and now I'll search for the image I used in another quote since it's already saved in my database. Once you have added images to your database, they are always in the database and you can search for them without having to upload them. I can reposition the image in the slab representation if I need to, and now all my pieces have a slab image. There are a lot of places to find help as you are working, including when you're in the drawing steps. From the top menu bar, click on the Help icon, then Search Help to open our online help center in a new window. That covers the details of Step 5. We'll go through adding prices in Step 6. If you have questions or would like to set up a quick call with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, email support at moraware.com. Happy quoting!